not be a super common stream if we didn't have at least one or two crashes. And that happened. Eh. <sighs> that was tough to get back online. Uh, basically, it does not like it when I do anything dramatic on camera and the music changes at the same time. So I changed it tonight. I was talking and moving around and the music changed. So then it just crashed. <sighs> this is why I can't it stream video games. <laughs> gave up the ghost. All right. We are back on. All right, guys. The, um... You have retrieved one horse. The, uh, the piles of dust with armor and weapons and other things the bandits are lying around on the ground. You have investigated and found uh, these guys. Oh, one of the, uh, the elf, actually, uh, Bella. Yeah. Um, actually, not just the elf. Two of the three elves and half-elves um, are missing the tips of their fingers. One of them is missing at the knuckle. One of them is missing it here and here. The other is missing it here, here, and here. Do they look like old wounds? They do. Like they've they healed gross. over? Okay. Yeah. Gross and weird. Long since. <laughs> Okay, guys. What do you want to do? Do you want to uh, camp in here? Do you want to move the corpses and, and camp in here? Do you want to yes. find another yes. place to camp? Do yes. you want to continue traveling at night? No. No, we are sleeping. Okay. Yeah, I think we all need a rest. Maver can help move corse corpses out. Akiri's gonna do basic funeral rites. For whom? For all the dead? All four of them? Yeah. Okay, but not for like the super basic, no. just like move on to the next one, see ya. Okay, but not for the brigands? Uh, she'll do a more general one. She doesn't really know orc or half orc customs, so she isn't really gonna like. I'm not gonna say she's not gonna bother with it. She's just not comfortable doing it. Okay, what are you guys doing with the corpses and the the sand piles and stuff? Uh, that's dirt already. That can that can be shoveled into the path or something. <laughs> So there's now like some piles of what well, once were people, dust in the path, and uh, their armor and weapons. That is not Akiri talking, by the way. That is me talking. Um, Akiri is mildly horrified. However, comma, that is definitely the most efficient thing to do. With them. And the corpses inside the cabin, you guys are, you're saying a quick prayer for each of them. Mm -hmm. And then what are you doing? We're going to get the big, strong guys to carry them outside for now. We okay. can deal with them in the moment. Where do you put them, big, strong guys? Maybe behind the, the building? Okay. I don't know, Brett, do you have a problem? Yeah, uh, there's, there's no bodies of water here. That's what I'm used to when it comes to disposing of the dead. Uh, Akiri, if you have any guidance, I don't know what would be normal for followers of Shuark. This is coming from her player, probably compost. Like, I feel like that's the most, like... <sighs> no, um, I'm sorry, Em, you're playing, uh, Akiri, not, uh, Cordycephius? 
Yeah. Okay, but like I have reasoning for it though, because like <laughs> God of no, Harvest it makes and sense. stuff. It makes sense. It made it to return them to the ground where they help nourish the crops for the next generations. It's fine. Okay, there's no way that Jork would not Jork followers would not have a wake. I'm sorry, a what? The god a of partying. Yeah. Has traditionally they have you have a wake. <laughs> I'm not sure what that word is. Oh. Yeah, uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh. Uh, awake is like, uh, it's common in like Irish tradition, um, but it's like you have a big party. Um, when uh, you drink, gotcha. to, the, you drink yeah. to their memory. Alcohol is usually involved. Gotcha. Yeah, usually like you tell stories about the deceased and, mm -hmm. you know, good memories that you shared with them, that kind of thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And, you know, sometimes there's like viewing of the body, you know, involved in that, but in some traditions but uh anyway um sure that's part of it too that's not necessarily something akiri wants to do for these guys exactly um you definitely had a even looking at them close you know they seem even more disreputable um looking but uh uh, but in any case, they are dead now. Okay. Um, are you guys lighting a uh, fire in the fireplace? Sure, why not? Okay. Yeah, I think Vapos is pretty exhausted after that fight. <laughs> Indeed. Narrow escape from wolves. Indeed. Uh, you start to feel a little bit better with the cheery fire crackling merrily. I, um, I really want to implement uh, stress rules, and uh, this would clear some stress. You break uh, open your um, your rations, you eat, you bandage up any wounds. Where are you putting the horses, the surviving horses? Uh, Kiri's gonna hobble them and let them graze underneath the tree. Like a long line on them. Like unpack them in time to that tree out front and let them graze. This. They've deserved it. Okay. So the horses do indeed yeah. have lovely grazing here, which was what first attracted breath to the place. Okay. Uh, do you guys want... Is there anything you want to do or talk about before you drift off to sleep? Setting a watch? Do people feel like they want healing? Oh yeah, Akiri's gonna call that out, actually. Anybody want some healing before I go to bed? Just to help sleep or anything like that? I, I'm doing alright, thank you. It's... That thing got me pretty good. Alrighty. Yeah, I mean, holy fuck, you guys. That was terrifying. That was more than I expected it to be, yes. Well, if everybody's a little bit injured, then I guess this would be a fantastic time for me to pull out one of my sexy new magic items that I haven't really had a chance to use yet and cast Cure Mass Light Wounds on everybody. Thank you, Akiri. Nice. Go for it, Bella. Yeah, that would be awesome. Well, of course I rolled a natural one, but that's still 11 points of healing for everybody. Damn. What item that's is that? That's fantastic. 
That's my Anstruth Harp, which allows me to cast Mass Cure Light Wounds every day. You play a beautiful melody, and it causes your wounds to begin closing. It was appreciated, Mavra. Listen, everything that saves a life is worth doing. Um, Bella, you don't get a choice. You're getting a little bit of healing. Because the carry feels bad for you. Alright, that's yeah. cool. That one's yours. Neat, thank you. And then she's going to give herself one real quick, too. She's thinking about it, and she's like, Yeah, no, I just want to knock myself out for a bit. Alright. By the way, everyone, um, I, I wanted to let you all know that um, while I was uh, out, I suppose, um, I, I saw something that was... Um, I, I think it was our enemies, if a capital or with a capital N, if you know what I mean. Um, I, I think that, I think that they were pretty directly involved with whatever was happening with those people, with the stones, uh, coming, or coming out of their skin and such. Um, I believe that the, the... Earthen one was directly responsible for that, and he seemed to consider it to be an experiment that was a failure. Yes, I heard them as well, and mine were talking, unfortunately, about Akiri's brother and how they need to stop him from getting in touch with either the Savage Seer or the Frog Talker. Well then. So I think that when we go to see him, we should definitely put him in touch with either the Savage Seer or the Frog Talker. Definitely. That certainly makes sense, although I don't know who this Savage Seer is. Uh, isn't it Allura? Tech? Wasn't it Allura? I think it was. I think that sounds right. I think you know a little more about the Frog Talker. We do know about the Frog Talker. Yes, I, I remember talked about it, the Frog Talker, a bit when um, we were dealing with the other one that was in that goblin village. But I, I don't I don't know this Allura person you're talking about. Oh, she's a um, she's a uh... sorry, tired brain. Um. She's a cleric of Jewark, and um, yeah, she's an air cobra. A really pretty, like, peacock looking one. Um, and I think I remember her being a seer. I think that's who it's talking about. I know she's going to be at the sword wounds meeting, though. All right. Well, it seems like everything's coming to a head at that point. Yeah, definitely seems like it. Rip, sorry, Max. 
scores. Allura is from Critical Role. Yep. Again, I'm sorry, tired brain. This character is called Alarka, but yes. Okay. Well, tired just like your characters, you drift off to slumber, sleeping through the night. You set watches. Um, I'm not, I don't want to take the time to have each of you individually roll, so we're going to do this a faster way. Um, But you are pretty peaceful. The crickets are chirping outside. The horses are grazing every now and then. One of them stamps its foot. Uh, or wickers gently. But they are injured and exhausted as well. And don't cause you much trouble. Um... The one dead horse, uh, I assume you've dragged that off somewhere. Yeah, probably. Uh -huh. Let the wolves have it. Okay. Ooh. Distantly, you do hear the occasional wolf perhaps feasting on that off in the mountainous woods. Um, okay. The next morning, you pick yourselves up. Your wounds have healed. Uh, you are going to regain two hit dice each. Um... And you are going to fully regain your health, your spell slots, and you, uh, your items with charges will have regained one charge. What do you guys want to do? Travel on. Yeah, I think we want to keep moving. Might being the smoky smell of this place and the blood from your noses, you pull out your map and decide on a direction. Vapos uh, does not have a horse anymore. Uh, is anybody willing to double up? It'll probably slow us down a little bit, but oh, absolutely. Than... Oh, hop on. All right. Okay. The two of you riding a horse. Um, Mavra has a horse, and Bella has a horse, and Akiri can fly. Is that about right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So in that case, uh, yes, you will be going a little slower. Uh, I guess where you might struggle is if you, uh, you know, took your... Oh, uh... What about the saddle and the other tack on that horse? Well, we might as well. We can either take it with us and sell it on later. Okay. Or... Yeah. Plus, we'll have it with us if we decide to buy a new horse. Yeah. Although I don't know when we'll have a chance to do that. All right. So who, who's going to carry that? I was thinking, or we could leave it at the um, hunting lodge. If it's too bulky, and just let someone else use it later on. Yeah, I, I think it'd be make more sense to leave it behind. Okay. All right. Vapos would offer to carry it, but that's kind of a lot to put on a horse that's already being overburdened. Okay. Uh, well, you'll be leaving that behind along with uh, the armor and weapons and whatever else. 
um, the brigands and the other corpses were carrying, but with some bookmarks scavenged. Um, what direction do you guys want to go? Those of you who are watching the stream, the players cannot see the red line. I believe we are continuing. Guys, help me remember which which one were we just in? Which one are we in? I think we're in sixteen thirteen right now. All right, cool. We're that headed sounds south, right. So. Yeah, maybe we're heading 15, south. Or maybe fifteen thirteen. I don't remember which. No, I think it is sixteen thirteen. Yeah, that sounds right. So yeah, we're headed south to sixteen fourteen. Sorry, fifteen fourteen. Um. No, sixteen fourteen. I was right. No, yes, sixteen fourteen. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, disregarding the numbers, you're heading south from your current position. Yes. Okay. You guys set out. Uh, you are now, have, you now have left the roads and guarded byways, uh, and even the well-crafted paths behind. You are heading into, um, an area of pretty serious wilderness. Uh, it continues to be mountainous, uh, and... Uh, as you as you cross through the cloud summit peak, or you, you you walk, you make your way through the cloud summit peaks, and forest it. Uh, so it's 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 pretty difficult. It's pretty rough terrain. Uh, the horses are quite helpful. Uh, they will make it slightly easier going. Uh, but uh, I assume you guys are going at a normal pace. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh man. Can you stay for one round of exploration checks, Vapos? I've got to get up and drive tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Can you stay five more minutes? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so you guys are heading out, uh, making your way uh, through the mountains and forest. Uh, who wants to do a travel check? I can do one. Okay. The horses will struggle in places, I was going to say. Especially the double-laden one. Oh, Bella. This time, instead of attracting attention, your, your song only serves to bolster the party. Very nice. You get two temp HP, who's next? I'll go. Um, Akiri is going to um, scout from the air and try to find the easiest path for the horses to take, uh, right. just to help them, help us keep going. All right, so that's going to be perception. Sounds good for me. I hate that ability so fucking much. <sighs> Unfortunately, you lead the party somewhat astray in places. Um, and it's, you know, it's really quite confusing. There's strong winds through the mountains. There's confusing and lousy pathways. And you actually end up increasing the danger a bit. Uh, so it does not work out as you hoped. It's going to fail. You get two temp HP anyway. Who's next? Okay. Apos will go next. All right. Um, seeing that we're having some trouble with the path and with uh, Vapos and Bref sharing a horse and overburdening it a little bit, and knowing that Bref is not as well-versed in dealing with horses, mm -hmm. Vapos is going to try to kind of monitor the horse's health and make sure that we're not uh, stressing it out too much and not running the horse into the ground. Nice. What kind of check is that? I'm thinking animal handling. Oh, perfect. 
Oh, that's a natural 20. Natural 20 gives you two successes. Yay. All right. Hell yeah. Good job, Vegas. Make up for my shitty perception. All right, with two more successes, you guys have a few difficulties along the way, but basically make it successfully through a day's travel. And here you are in more forest, more mountains. You catch a few glimpses of swampland as the mountains kind of fade to foothills to the east. And then to, uh, as you make your way further to the, to, the, um, to the west, you kind of spot a large camp, uh, large camps with big tents of, uh, uh, of creatures kind of uh, moving around in the mountains there in the forest. Uh, and then as you uh, are finishing up your travels, uh, making camp there, you uh, you can kind of see uh, the swamp land giving way somewhat to the southeast uh, what looks like fields and vineyards on the uh, on the foothills of the mountains and, and giving way to a broad flat plain and that as you make your bed nobody dead congratulations on no one dying in that incredibly difficult encounter <laughs> that is where we are wrapping up for tonight that was a lot of fun you guys that was uh, crazy yes. that was insane yes uh, so uh, i can do experience points uh cory if you want to drop out at this point it's only going to take a couple more minutes uh, i'm just All going right. to do the experience points as everyone gets um 100 xp per level for traveling and then for that encounter uh worth quite a chunk of experience points indeed right. so you are going to get Here, hang on, hold tight. Okay, so, oh right, no, I'm gonna forget about that. So for that encounter, the grand total for the encounter was 5,600, which divided by 5 is 1,120 each, plus 100 each for traveling. So 100 per level, 100 per level each for traveling. 1,120 each for the encounter. Um, and you get an XP bonus if you can solve the mystery of what happened in the hunting lodge. Well, I guess we can cool. do that later. And we actually didn't cover this last time, but we traveled two hexes in the previous episode as well, right? We didn't do XP for that? We did not. Oh, okay. Uh, well, one of those wasn't worth anything, but the other one okay. was. Uh, was worth your... Um, uh, the other one was worth uh, actually 50 per level. Your, the one where you failed three times in a okay. row? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was so. I guess you're getting 150 per level, uh, plus 1,120 each. Awesome. All right. Okay, guys. 
well, well done. Well played. That was a lot of fun. Thank you to Mantho Screen Name and to uh, Taladar for hanging out in chat. Thank you if you watch this later. You are awesome. Uh, thank you to Danielle, player of Mavra, who uh, played as long as she could. Always has to leave early. We appreciate you. Thank you to Jeremy, player of Bereth, the Barbarian. Thank you to M, player of Akiri, the Cleric. Thank you to Kirsten, player of Bella, the Bard. Thank you to Corey, player of Vapos, the Monk, who is still playing Vapos, the Monk, even though he was this close. <laughs> um... <laughs> Thank you all very much. You're awesome. And good night. Until next time. Good night, everybody. That was great. Bye.